Uh, when I arrived, I, I, like I said, I had assumed that I would be coming upon some frightened parents that had misplaced their kid. And um, when I arrived, the tent had been collapsed, and there was just the back half of a wolf um, sticking out the front of it, or the side. I couldn't even, it had been turned around quite a bit. I was already running at the time, um, so there really was, it, it feels like a bit of an instant. I didn't, um, I just kind of kept running at it, yelling, um, and it was just so big. And so, like I said before, and in other interviews, it was a bit of a, bit of a large target. So um, I just kind of kept my, moment, my momentum going, and I just, uh, kicked it in the back half, just kind of like I was trying to kick it in a door, which I've never really done before. So the wolf popped out, a little curious, I think. Um, didn't maybe just didn't see that coming, and I was just trying to assess how much trouble I was in. I wasn't too sure if it was going to come at me or not, but um, it wasn't snarling. It wasn't it wasn't um, growling at me at all. Um, but Matt popped out right away, and uh, that was pretty good. He was he was pretty amped up, so. Um, he was able to grab like a broken tent pole. Um, the campground itself has rocks all around every every campsite, so I was able to pick up a rock and we were able to sort of lob some rocks at it for a while. Um, that seemed to push it back uh, quite a bit. 